Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Fuzzy Goat family, Melissa here at Fuzzy Goat, and we're recording. Cadence is gone, and so we usually use her phone. So we're using the iPad, and I just have to get used to it. I feel like I'm, I'm looking off screen, but I'm not. So sorry about that. We have the mic on, so hopefully it's still, you can hear us and um, all that stuff. So, okay, so we're gonna give this a whirl. Um, I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend and a happy Easter. Hello, Maureen. I'm glad you're watching because I was wondering if I was recording or not because this is all new. So, hi, Maureen. Um, yes, yeah, so I hope everybody had a wonderful Easter and enjoying spring. We had some spring showers, which is fine, uh, over the weekend. All right, uh, what did I want to talk about? Oh, that cadence is gone. We're running the shop by ourselves. So that's always interesting because you don't realize you don't know things until you have to figure it out. So that's okay. We're doing good. Um, we're also getting very excited about uh, local yarn shop day, LYS. So um, that's the 30th? Yes. 30th. Yeah. So it's coming up and we're very excited. Uh, what else? We're going to have Alicia here. So knitwise. Yeah. So I, I got a sneak peek at some of her stuff and it's, um, we have a lot more coming, but it's pretty exciting. And hey, Teresa, happy Easter to you too. Um, so yeah, so it'll, it'll be online for you guys as well. And when you watch Cadence's live, she'll go over it then. All right, so let's talk about my projects. I'm definitely, I need to start finishing something, but I'm having fun playing with all these fun yarns and patterns. So let's see where we are. My sister's scarf. Comalina, that's what I'm calling it. So the lighting's a little weird too, sorry guys. Um, hey Bonnie, Jan, hello. All right, so this is Comalina, and look at this cute little bag that we got, you guys. This is the bitty, um, nitty, nitty gritty bitty, I think is what we're calling it. Um, this is mine, I just got so excited about it. Because, especially with my sister's scarf, I realized that my other bags were so huge that it didn't need a big bag like that. And look, oh, look where I am. So, deceivingly little ball here. It just keeps going on forever, but I think I'm getting there. So let me show you. Well, really, it's for myself too. Um, yeah, it's getting there. All right, so this is the front. Yes, okay. All right, so I always like to practice like where we are. I need to stand up. We'll move back a little bit. Okay, sorry, you can't see me. Um, so it's getting there. I have the bottom done, you remember? So I have this on the other side done. Uh, so, But I, I still have a few more repeats. I'm sitting on stuff. Woo! Um, and there's my fancy chart. Is it upside down? No, that's it, my fancy chart. I'm so proud of. So getting there. I uh, just need to, like I said, I tried to do a repeat every time I sit down with it, which is not that often right now. And uh, it just it just keeps chipping away at that little ball that seems to be lasting forever. It's like a gobstopper. Y'all remember those gobstoppers that just just can't get rid of. Um, oh gosh, I've made a mess. Okay, sorry. All right, so it's my sister's. Fun yarn to work with. It's Emma's super silky, so that's always fun. So my mom, my next project is my mom's, and it's her. The easy folded, I think somebody called to get some yarn for this too. The easy folded poncho. I'm using the Craggy Tweed um, by uh, Farmer's Daughter. And again, it's a chipper, it's a chipper. We gotta chip away at this one. But I do think it's getting more, look at this. It's over 30 inches. Okay, so the idea is, you guys can't even see it all on the screen. <laughs> The idea is get to 50 and I'm going to seam it. Something like this. No, I think I actually seam it. Something like this. And then we pick up the cowl. Something like that. I'll have to figure it out. But it's it's a simple knit. Um, uh, it, oh, my husband's watching. So I have to share. I'm just so excited. <laughs> my daughter, that's a senior, made it to states for her tennis with her, her partner, and doubles partner. And they were there today in uh, Macon, Georgia. And my husband took her. I wasn't able to be there, but I did my part because I've practiced with her. So I feel like I did my part, and she won today. So she gets to play again, so I'm very excited about that. All right, so this is the, the tweed. So pretty. Um, we have some, we still have some colors on this too. So if y'all are interested, let us know. You can call us or text us. I am down to, let's take a look at my balls here. 
Um, I have one whole one and then probably half, maybe a little bit more. Definitely on the downslide of that project. Uh, so I'm excited to get that done and mailed out so I can start something else. All right, so that's my mom's. What else do I have to show you? Okay, so the color work sweater, you guys. So fun. I don't know, can you hear it? We have the door open. It's so pretty here today. It seems like you can hear it, but maybe you can't. Um, Marcia, hello, how are you? Uh, oh, it's yes. Oh, it's what, what are you saying? It's friendly, some kind of friendly. I'll look at that note. Yes, it's very simple. It's travel friendly, except it's getting big. But you don't have to think about it, which is nice. All right, so this is my ember. Okay, long sleeve in this picture. I'm not doing long sleeve, mostly because it's still a lot of color work. But also where I live, I think I will wear the short sleeve more. So I, it is a fingering weight yarn um, and just a lot of color work, which has been fun, except right now, I have not separated the sleeves. Okay, so it's a lot of stitches, and I'm at the point where I have three colors to work with, which is kind of can be a lot. Not, it's not a lot. It's not hard. It's just that you got three balls, and so like when the dogs want to go outside or the kids want something, it's a lot to like get everything off you, and then you have to untangle it when you sit back down. But it's okay. It's all right. It's a fun project. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to show you without losing stitches, hopefully. So the top of it. Okay, you can see there's a little bit of oh, lace work. I'm going to show, spread it out a little bit. And the lace work, it's, oh, see I'm doing this wrong, is a flower. Yeah, I think you can see it a little better there. Maybe. It's a flower. So I think when I block it out, it's going to be better, it'll look better. And you can hear the horns. I'm sorry. Hope it's not distracting. I do have the mic on, so. Again, this is the first time we're doing it with the iPad. All right, and then there's a little bit more color work here, which I think was really cool. Lord, back better. And then down here is where I have the three. <gasps> losing, oh, I'm losing stitches, you guys. That's not cool. Hold on one second. I did have a stopper on, George Ann, don't yell at me. I had a stopper on, but it's not the right one, apparently these are little needles. All right, let me make sure I got everything. Sorry. Just want to make sure I don't lose anything. Okay. Oh, and I lost my beginning around marker. Oh my Lord. All right. Oh, that is a loose one. We're just going to pierce it so it doesn't come off again. Okay. All right. So I am at this part down here. I've got the three colors to work with. I think I just have a few more rows. Then I'll show you on here. So you can see the rectangle part right here. That's, that's where I am. And then I do a little bit and then I separate the sleeve. So it's going to get smaller, which will be nice. And I don't think I have any more parts, which is three colors. But there's still a lot of color work to be had, which is fun because sometimes when you separate the sleeves, that becomes the boring part. So I'm kind of okay with that. And there'll be fewer stitches. It is very oversized, as you can see. My mom says the sweaters that I make are bigger, but I think that's just the style I like. Although, my mom will be happy I have one that is going to be more fitted. We'll see. We'll see if I actually make it as fitted as it probably should be. I think it, the one I'm going to show you has zero to two inches of ease, which is unusual for me. So fingering yarn, I'm using uh, Neighborhood Fiber Company. It's the first time I'm using it, and it's very, oh, it just, um, as you're knitting, it just goes, psh, kind of fills up, kind of like the uh, Knitwise Floofy, just like as you, you think it's, anyway, it's it's nice to work with. I think it has nice nice uh, stitch definition. So that's the dark gray. Then I'm using a red, which, uh, which red am I using? This is one actually, because I'm from Charlotte, I came. I was visiting, visiting a yarn shop. It's called Queen City Yarn, so it's out of Charlotte, North Carolina, and I found this lovely red, so I um, got it. So that's what I'm using for the red. I was gonna use Emma's um, stiletto, but I, I found this in my stash. And then, of course, I'm using one of my all-time favorites is Emma's um, Jackie O. 
silky. So I've got three different yarns in there, but they're, they seem to be playing just fine together. All right, so what else? All right, so the next project that I have, oh Lord, I've got too many going on. This is, um, it's called Stormy, sleeveless sweater, Stormy. The, um, okay, yeah, Mar I love red too. Red is one of my favorite colors. And I went to NC State, so I think I liked red before then, but anyway, it's one of their colors. So this is a very, very simple tee. Um, and I chose it because I am using, Ooh, let me reach over here. One of the blanks, the shawl blanks. The lighting right here is not very good. Sorry, guys. Um, this is Seneca Creek, so it's kind of green. Yeah, that's maybe better right there. Greens. We also have this hot pink and red. This one's called Marley Creek. So the idea of the blanks, guys, is they um, the dyers have just a blank shawl and then it allows them to dye it in this kind of ombre, it makes it a little easier to do that. And then they're, they have like a lifeline, I guess you could call it. And you just pull the lifeline and just start knitting. So you're unraveling the shawl and knitting something new with it. You could actually wear the shawl. <clears throat> uh, so that's the idea. This is Old Road Bay. And I'll put these links up too with my patterns. That one's really pretty, which one might think I would have picked this one but I tried to go a little outside my comfort zone. Look, it's kind of like what I'm wearing. And I'll talk about what I'm wearing in just a second too. And this one is really cool because it's very dramatic. It starts, so it all starts in the inside. So you start with the yellow and it comes out to the gray. So that one's pretty. This one is called uh, Back River. Okay, so let me show you what I'm doing. This is, I've never done anything like this. Whoa. And this is also Neighborhood Fiber Company. So. Um, nice definition small needles because uh, I am I guess a, what you call a loose knitter but I had so for the ribbing okay let me show you the ribbing um, the garter stitch up here I had to use a one and then I actually realized all right so I'm not an expert at the magic loop but I decided I couldn't find these one needle so I had a longer, so it was 29 inches, which is a weird length, I'm not even sure why I had it, um, wooden one. I thought, well, I'll just have a few rows, I'll do it, but it was too long, so I did kind of a magic loop, which I'm not very good at, or I, I just don't use it a lot. Somehow, I ended up, when I went in the round, twisting it, and I was going to let it go, and I'm like, it's going to bother me. So I pulled it out, which was a little interesting to pull out from a shawl, because, you know, usually a ball, you can just ball it back up. So that was a whole nother challenge, we'll say, a challenge. All right, so um, it's a wide neck. Let me see, pull it back out again. What do I do with it? Oh, here it is in my lap. Very wide neck, so we'll see. If, if it's too wide, I may end up maybe picking up and adding, we'll see. Uh, it, this is 100% um, Superwash Merino. And so the this garter stitch was a one, now I'm on a three. So I haven't gotten very far. It is kind of exciting to like look at this and be like, ooh, can I keep going? This is the color I'm using, y'all, if, if I hadn't showed you. And I can't remember the name of it. Let's see, I have it <clears throat> right here. And it's a thousand yards on this shawl. Uh, it is, ooh, which one am I using? Well, there it is. Res a Rocky Gorge Reservoir. There we go. So it's, you know, just the, how gradually it goes is kind of cool. So I'm, I'm excited to get down into the blues and purples. I probably won't use all of it because I don't think I need it. The pattern that I'm using, the Stormy, is actually designed to be like a fade of some sort or, you know, like, yeah, I guess a fade would be a good way to put it. So there's a picture of that too. But it's, this is more fitted, so we'll see how this goes for Melissa, if it actually is that fitted or if I wear it that fitted. Um, all right, I think, oh, so, and I will mention, I have something, I, yeah, I just have to finish something. I, I realize that. I hope y'all aren't getting um, too tired of seeing the same thing. I just keep wanting to try new things. Uh, but hopefully I will start finishing some things and then I can start some other things. Um, but the church house, the church mouse baby wrap sweater is on hold, but I plan to pick that back up soon too. So I'll keep you posted on that. I have a couple I have my friend's sweater that I that I tore out the sleeve that I need to get back to you guys and update you. But again, it's a winter sweater, so I guess I'm not that feeling that urgent to to get it done. Now that I know what I'm doing, that, that my plan, I have a plan. 
I don't, I'm not feeling too stressed out about it. All right, well, I think that's it. Please call us, text us. Of course, check out our website, fuzzygoatyarns.com. Uh, call us, text us, email us if we can help you plan a project. We'd love to send pictures or put some things together for you. And we look forward to seeing you all and talking to you on a local yarn shop day, I hope. All right, you guys have a great week. Bye.